okay completing the square so remember that we should know how to expand vertex form to standard form or expand and simplify remember that that square really means there are two of everything in the bracket so we can do that and then we can foil x plus 3 times x plus 3 or we should recognize that our perfect squares x plus 3 squared really means x squared plus 2 times x times 3 plus 3 squared so whatever way we do it if we see that and we know that we can get right to x squared plus 6x plus 9 then distribute that a term into the brackets and then really the last step would be to collect like terms We've gone from vertex form to standard form by expand to simplify. So from standard, sorry, from vertex to standard. What we're going to be looking at today is how do we go the opposite way. So how do we go from standard form into vertex form? Because once we're in vertex form, we can see our vertex of negative 3, negative 5, which gives us an axis of symmetry, negative 3. It opens up, which means we have a minimum of negative 5. When we're in standard form, we have a y-intercept of 13. Or, once we're in vertex form, we can graph using transformations. So the process of expressing standard form, getting it into vertex form, is called completing the square. So, remember that perfect square trinomials factor into squared binomials. So again, how do we do that? We look, square root of that, yep, is x. Square root of that, 25 is 5. And we want to see if 2 times x times 5 equals our middle term, which it does. Then that is a perfect square. So as soon as we recognize that, that gets rewritten or factored into x plus 5 all squared. So as long as we have a perfect square and we make it a perfect square, we can put it into binomial squared. So same thing, square root of 16 is 4. 4 times x times 2 is 8. That's a negative, so it will be a negative in the brackets. So we have something like that. If we needed to look and make our own, we could do this because we could say, oh, divided by x, because x squared, square root of x squared is x. That's a positive, so we have a positive. So this divided by 2 is 6, and divided by 2x is 6, and 6 squared is 36. So that's going to be 6, and that's going to be 36. Same could hold here. You take the square root of x squared, which is x. You divide that by 2x and get negative 3. And negative 3 squared is 9. And so we've still filled our pattern. So just to get our brains to give it that. Now, to actually go from standard form to vertex form, here's the example we're going to use. Step 
one. We're going to group the first two terms. So what does that mean? We're going to look at those two, two terms. They're going to make a group. All that means is we're going to leave some space in between and we're going to boot that negative one out of the party. It's not completely gone, we just spaced it out. So we want to space it out because what's going to go inside, we're going to decide to make that a perfect square. So our second step, at the same time, we're going to both add and subtract half of the B term but whatever half of that is squared. So what does that mean? Well, I'm going to put step number two up here to just show the work. I'm going to say six divided by two and all of that squared. So 6 divided by 2 is 3 squared is 9. So that means we're going to add and subtract 9 and that's what's going to go into that space we made. We're going to add 9 and we're going to subtract 9. Because 9 take away 9 is 0 so we haven't fundamentally changed anything about this equation. We've just broken up 0 into 9 take away 9. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the first three terms and we're going to factor them into a perfect square. So those first three terms there, that is a perfect square. That satisfies everything that we looked up at top. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 9 is 3. x times 3 times 2 is 6x. So that becomes x plus 3 all in brackets squared. Everything else still exists. So I still have minus 9, and I still have take away 1. The last step, I'm going to collect the remaining terms. And so those remaining terms. are going to be the k value of our vertex. Negative 9 take away 1 is negative 10. And now I've gone from standard form to vertex form. This work right here is how I decided what number to put in to make a perfect square trinomial which can then be factored into a perfect square or a squared binomial, binomial square. So let's do all of that with one example. Step one, I'm going to group the first two terms, kick the third out, just make space. There's some things in between. I'm going to take that B term, 12. I'm going to divide by 2, which is 6, and then I'm going to square it. So now I need to both add 36 
Always add first and then take away 36. Even if this is a negative, we always put the positive first because negative times negative is positive. All of this, x squared plus 12x plus 36, factors into x plus 6, all squared. Half of that 12 is 6, 6 times 6, 36. 6 times x and x times 6. 6x six plus 6x six is 12x. At the same time, I now have my minus 36 still hanging out, my plus 22. I add those together, and I've completed the square. Done. Once I've shown this work, whether it's to the side or in between, numbers in there, that and that together can be done in one step. Work of how I chose those numbers, factored, collected like terms, done. Let's do the example with the negative. Do a least space and then add the 5 at the end. Negative 8 divided by 2, all squared. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is positive 16. So I'm going to add 16. That's a perfect square. I need to take away 16. Again. That is going to factor in x, take away 4. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. That's the negative. We need the negative in between. And I can add negative 16 plus 5 right away to be negative 11. Minimum steps needed for completing the square. These are considered simple. Again, trinomials because the coefficient is 1. Next, we'll be looking at what happens if there's a number there that is not 1. Give it a go. This is one of the major concepts for grade 10. So really getting efficient and strong at this is really important and will help you be successful moving forward.